cocktails. Yeah, make sure that you come on out this Sunday by Centennial Park in Milford. Everything kicks off at noon. Big man, come on. It's a huge summer jam, so make sure that you come see us. Everybody here at the Voice Radio Network, all of our sister stations will be out there. It's going to be a great day of music and performances, lots of great food, the biggest taco fest ever, vendors, and so much more. Thank you to our sponsors, Hunter Emery State Farm, Gigante International Food Market, Lupton Law, Mountain Air Farm, Sullivan's Landscaping and Maintenance, and us here at the Voice Radio Network. So come on out, see us throughout the day. Again, everything kicks off at noon at Bicentennial Park in Milford. All right, so there's a viral video going around, a relationship expert's advice. Uh, and talking about giving mixed signals or are they ghosting? Oh. All right. What do you do if someone's giving you mixed si singles uh, and if you're being ghosted? Here's why he's giving you mixed signals. He's either unsure about you, the relationship, or both. If he's truly interested, he'll put in the effort consistently. So don't waste your time on a guy who's indecisive. Your job is not to convince someone, but to find someone who doesn't need convincing. If a guy has stopped talking to you, Remember this quote, if your absence doesn't bother them, your presence never mattered to them. Listen, you don't belong with someone who doesn't want you. He's done you a favor by eliminating himself. Yeah, he's done you a favor Ooh, by eliminating. Favor. What was that quote? I like it. <laughs> yeah. I like that quote. Eliminating himself, doing you a favor. Wow. Uh, but that video, of course, has gone uh, viral on TikTok. Do you go to a lot of hotels? I know you, at least you used to. Yeah. And I know we're going to be doing that coming up with All Stars. We do when we travel. Well, what if the hotel had a perk? Mm -hmm. A fart perk. What's a fart perk? Uh, well, What's that? Here we go. You know when you go to check out at a hotel and sometimes there's that page that pops up before you put your credit card in and it's like enhance your stay with these other things and it's always like flowers, champagne, car service, massage, whatever. I truly thought that I was seeing something totally normal, right? Bottle of wine, massage, fart. <laughs> what is fart? For free? Wait, what are the details? Fart free. The rate is per day. Should I book the client a fart? Like, what? what is happening? No, what? what if you do what fart, do you get the free stay? <laughs> what is it? You get a free night if, if you have the best fart. If you fart? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wait, a, what? A fart perk. A fart perk. Fart perk. Yeah. Uh, I don't really know what, what like the actual deal is. But oh it's a viral video gosh. that's going around. No so. way. Yeah, it was a French hotel. A fart perk. Yeah, fart okay. perk. You know, whether <laughs> it's like, I don't know, it smells like garbage or it smells like. <laughs> uh, a New York man was arrested in Las Vegas after stripping down naked um, and jumping on top of a poker table at a casino oh. on the strip. Authorities said he was in an altered mental state. And was cooperative, by the way. So, again, uh, here goes an Elvis with Viva Las Vegas to help uh, talk about the incident. Viva Las Vegas! Yeah, so again, New York man arrested in Las Vegas after stripping down naked and jumping on top of a poker table at a casino on the strip. Okay? Um, a Gen Z TikToker who made the term quiet quitting famous. Now says the trend is not the answer. He initially subscribed to the idea that doing the bare minimum at a job you don't care much about. But now he says in that situation, you should just leave the position. Here he goes talking about it. I recently learned about this term called quiet quitting, where you're not outright quitting your job, but you're quitting the idea of going above and beyond. Your worth as a person is not defined by your labor. I just fully up and quit my job. My last work environment was not conducive to me at all. It just wasn't good for me mentally. And so being able to really reassess what matters to me was so instrumental in providing me with this general lightness again in life and this zest for living. We talked about this before, like, <laughs> People who have worked here, like, you know, you're at a job and you want to quit or leave somewhere and not good kids to do this. You just stop doing your job efficiently <laughs> or you start like doing less and less. Quiet quitting. Yeah. Oh, my like, gosh. Why? Or you don't message somebody back. <sighs> you ghost your, your employer. Mm. Has that ever happened before? <laughs> Name them. Bill? Name them. Bill. Uh, and an English man had, a pol had the police called on him when they heard a woman screaming from inside his home. Turns out it was just one of his 22 pet parrots. No. I've just had uh, three police vehicles turn up in my house. What? I might be in a bit of trouble. 
because uh, a concerned neighbour has been passing by telling me that there's screaming coming from my house. A woman screaming for help. <laughs> I'm sorry, mate. This is brilliant. Yeah, 22 pet parrots inside the house. 22 of them. How many animals do you have? Wow. 22. 22. Okay, 22 that's what I thought. 22 pet parrots. Do you know somebody for real, like with a lot of, a lot of pets? Um, what's considered a lot? 10. Five. I do know five. Five? Yeah. How about seven? I don't know. Okay. I have to think about it. Isn't there like a cat lady in Delaware? That's my friend? N- n- well, yeah, that's your friend. I'm sure. No, but there, there was like <laughs> a... W- wasn't there somebody considered like a cat lady in Delaware? I think she... I'm sure there's quite a few. <laughs> her house like got condemned. <laughs> oh, that was like, oh, like a year and a half ago or Was it okay? Right? Yeah. Yeah, the cat lady. Bill's friends. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jessica's jacked up friends. 725. The hottest music continues next.